today we are going to talk about like eagles. This is the topic of this message. August the 30th, 2020, our worship service number 205 from Odessa, Texas. We say to you, thank you so much for watching and connecting. Like Eagles is the topic of today. If you want to download the bulletin, go to the website, thechurch.us. Look for the tab bulletins and download it. Or you can use your camera and download it by taking a look to the QR code. We want to remind you about our fundraisers. We are looking for $5,000. We want to improve our equipment. If you want to help us on your browser, go to vchurch.us forward slash give. Or you can do it through text 432-268-0007. Indicate the amount and the system will take you through. Thank you so much for your help and support. Like eagles is the message of today. And we are going to start by reading the scripture coming from the prophet Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. We read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. That is a promise from our good Lord to each one of us, friends. And we all go through difficulties, and this, this season is a difficult season. Many, many of us, is, it, we just think, when this will end? We are just wondering, what's going on? Because it's too much of this, too much of that. And uh, honestly, s some point, a lot of people are just tired. Are you tired? <laughs> Do you feel tired? And I'm not talking about the natural being tired because of the activities we do. I'm talking about the exhaustion that comes as a result of all this pressure and things going on in the world and in our families. Are you tired? I want you to know there is a prophet. There is a scripture. The prophet Isaiah says, you will renew your strength like eagles. And I'm going to talk to you about it, but before I continue with this thing, I want to ask you, do you feel like you are about to give up? <laughs> there are moments when people feel, oh boy, I just can't give anymore. I think I'm, I'm done with this. I'm about to give up. Some people are pretty strong in their faith, you know, but honestly, not everybody is like that. Sometimes some people say, you know what, I was trying to, but now I am really ready to give up. I just can't can give that, can't give anymore. But remember the, prophes the prophecy. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So today I want, to, I want to share with you 11 reasons why you can be like the eagles. I'm going to give you 11 reasons, my friends. And I hope that you are ready to receive each one of those. The first one, I want you to know that eagles were created to fly. To fly, not to walk. Do they walk? Of course they walk. Do they rest? Absolutely. You see eagles resting sometimes. They are just waiting for different things. But they were created to fly. And that's what you, you need to start thinking. What is your purpose in life? Because the Lord God made you to do something like the eagles to fly. Because honestly, that is what will make you feel excited in life. When you understand what is your purpose in life? What is your purpose in life? Have you ever thought about it, my friend? Or you are just going through the motions? You just go one day at a time and you think, eh, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I want you to know that the Lord made you with a purpose and you need to find your purpose in life. Why? I'm here. 
What is what you did in me, Lord? What is what you gave me that I am special? You need to think about it. Do you realize that you are special in the eyes of God? Are you aware of your gifts and talents? Which are those? Are you putting those gifts and talents to work? Or they are just hidden there somewhere? What are your abilities? What are those spiritual gifts that are there for you? Are you able to do certain things and you refuse to do it? Do you realize that there are many things the Lord gave you? They are already there inside of you and they are just dormant. That, that's the problem. Like an eagle that flies, you need to accomplish your goal in life. And move exactly, in, exactly as your gifts are. Your talents and your abilities. I'm not a politician. And I'm not into politics. So why will I be into politics when I'm not a politician? I have a level of wisdom. I am able to run certain things, lead certain things. But I am not a politician. It would be a mistake for me to move into politics. I was not made to be a politician. The Lord made me to become a minister, to preach His Word, and other things to write. I need to move myself in the areas where I know I am gifted. What about you? Are you trying to become a carpenter and you know that that's not your field? Maybe your field is in another area. That's what I am saying. You need to remember which are the set the set of goals, what the set of skills you have. And keep it in mind. What are the things that you are good at? Because when you are putting time and effort in things that you are not good at, you are just wasting your time. But what is what you are good at? Eagles were made to fly. You were made to do something. Do it. Focus on that. That's number one. Number two, eagles see things from above. You know, other birds cannot do that. Dogs cannot see things from above. But eagles are different. They were made to see things from above. And you know, when, when they can see things from above, they, that gives them a, a very different perspective. Sometimes in your life, you need to stop and start to think how the Lord is seeing your life. Start to see things from above. Because when we see things from our perspective, sometimes it's pretty pessimistic. <laughs> Materially speaking, humanly speaking, it's kind of depressing sometimes. But if we learn to see things from above, from God's viewpoint, what is what He sees in this world and how He wants us to see life, that changes things. So number one, the Lord wants you to accomplish your purpose in life. Whatever is what He wants you to do. Number two, He wants you to see things from above. See things from his perspective. From his perspective, the world is not finished. From his perspective, there is so much to do still today and tomorrow. From his perspective, you have things to do. You need to see things from above, like eagles. Number three, eagles hang out with other eagles. Have you ever thought about it? You don't see an eagle hanging out with cats. You know, cats are cute. Like any other animal, they have qualities and great features, if you like, if you are a cat person. Or if you are a dog person, well, you can apply the same idea. Dogs are pretty and all that 
whatever you want. But they don't hang out with eagles. Do you understand that? Yeah. Eagles hang out with other eagles. Yeah. Now, you, you need to hang out with people that have the same set of ideas. People like, like you that know your purpose in life. You know you are gifted. You know that you need to see life from God's perspective. You know the Bible is the truth. You know those things, so you hang out with other eagles. But imagine eagles hanging out with pigs. What could be the outcome? Eagles hanging out with pigs. Pigs will never fly. And they eat different things. It, it is impossible. Well, my friend, when the prophet Isaiah is talking to us about how the Lord wants to renew our strength like eagles, we receive the promise that we, like eagles, we need to transform ourselves, Right? We need to start to understand the importance of hanging out with other eagles. People like you that think positively, that think biblically, that want to accomplish things in life. But if you are hanging out with other species, let me tell you, you are not going to accomplish your goals in life. You need to select very carefully with whom you are hanging out. Somebody says, well, I'm not hanging out with anybody right now. Nobody wants to go anywhere. Okay, well, what are you watching on TV? Because what you are watching on TV or on your phone, that's the kind of people you are hanging out with. You are receiving that influence. You are listening to those conversations. Point number four. Eagles learn to be alone. They learn that. And you must learn to be alone. A lot of people refuse that. Many people don't like the idea of being by themselves. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want to be by myself. Makes me nervous. I am afraid of being alone. I am afraid of being by myself, some people say. Well, eagles are not. Eagles are okay by being by themselves. Eagles can fly, and then suddenly they land somewhere in a rock, in a high mountain, to see things from above. Are you listening? Going high to the rock to see things from above. And being okay by being by themselves. They are not there to win their nest. Oh, I'm here by myself. I need to text somebody. I need to call somebody. I, need to, I, I have to be with somebody. No, they are not uncomfortable being by themselves. Eagles learn to be alone. And it's okay to be alone sometimes. Sometimes being alone means the couple in the marriage. Both can have time by themselves, the husband alone and the wife alone. Sometimes that means also the couple, does, they don't need necessarily to hang out with other couples. They can be by themselves. Family, the couple with the kids, they don't have to be hanging out with other people all the time. They can be by themselves in their home. People need to learn to be okay with whatever is happening. If that, if that means to be alone, well, so be it. Many churches today are hurting because a lot of people are not coming to the services. Many. There are some churches even announcing that they are closing their services on Sunday. They are afraid perhaps or they just want to 
not offend others. I have no idea what is the reasons behind. We are going to keep worshiping the Lord every Sunday. But the point is, sometimes we see how little number of people are coming to the services. And you know what? We need to learn to be okay with that too. It's okay. We don't need a multitude. You don't need a multitude. You can be by yourself. Eagles learn to be alone. You know what? Eagles learn to take care of themselves. Imagine eagles sending text to their mama. Mama, I'm here in this tree and, and I'm hungry. Mama, daddy, I'm in, I'm in, this, in the peak of this mountain and uh, I'm scared. And, uh, and I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. But no, eagles learn to take care of themselves. You need to learn to take care of yourself. Meaning food, meaning clothes, meaning taking care of the house, taking care of the vehicle, taking care of whatever you need to take care of. Eagles learn to take care of themselves. They are okay with that. They don't need mama eagle all the time. Or daddy eagle all the time. No, no. That's not the case. It's the opposite. Eagles learn to take care of themselves. Why? Reason number six. Because eagles procreate eagles that they will teach them to fly. Eventually, by nature, naturally, the Lord will allow you to have your own children, and then you will have the opportunity to teach them how to fly, to teach them to be strong, to teach them to be independent, to teach them to be self-sufficient, to teach them to get a profession, an occupation, to teach them to take care of themselves, to teach them to fly, to teach them things. Because when they come to you, and they are little, and they are not pretty, of course they need your help. At the very beginning when we have our babies, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting how, how they look, you know. And we see certain features and we say, oh, that's the daddy's nose. Oh, those are the mom's, the mom's ears. Look at those ears. Look at that, those beautiful eyes or whatever, you know. A lot of hair like the daddy or whatever. You see, long legs or anything. You see the features there, but you know, they are not really, really pretty. It takes time to develop that beauty. The same thing happens with their character. The same thing happens with their abilities to think, to speak, etc. As an independent eagle, someone that learns to fly, someone that is not afraid to be by themselves, someone that sees things from above, someone that takes care of himself, you will be able to teach that to your descendants. And that's why there is a crisis today. Because we have failed as parents in teaching them to teach our, to our kids to be responsible self-sufficient, independent, and at the same time to fear God and to respect everybody else. We have failed as parents. It's time to change. It's, yeah, instead of eagles, they are chickens. It's what we have today. And it's, it's a big problem. Eagles procreate eagles to teach them to fly. And when we are teaching them those lessons, you know, they don't like it. Do you think that a little baby eagle is happy knowing that suddenly the nest is too uncomfortable and you got to fly and the little eagle is just looking from the tree or wherever they are down and they say, Mom, Mama, Mama, you are suggesting that I am going to jump there? No, I'm not suggesting. I'm telling you. Here we go. Fly. Fly. Oh, 
imagine the first flight. Well, some of us, you know, we have those experiences where it's not what is happening. But as an eagle, we need to learn that because eventually we will be gone. Number seven, eagle, eagles have a great vision. They are in the mountains or in the trees or in the sky flying. And usually they are there processing. What is what I am going to eat? Just looking. I got to eat. Remember, they don't have refrigerators or pantries or grocery stores. They have to hunt. <laughs> they have to go after their food. And uh, it's not easy. But eagles develop that ability to focus. I don't have the exact number, but they are, their vision is miles. I read some of the articles about it. Somebody said five miles vision. I don't know. I'm not an eagle. I cannot tell you, but oh, an I'm an eagle. <laughs> I know I'm not a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fact they are in the top of the mountain or in the sky and they focus and boy have you seen those documentaries those videos when the eagle comes after the prey boy <laughs> grab them from the water or on the ground whatever great vision and they are thinking of their own maintenance, food. You as an eagle, you need to have a vision about what you're going to do in the following days or weeks, months or years. You need to develop that vision and keep focus on that vision. This is what I must do. And you do it. You keep working on your Plan on your vision. But if you are, for instance, not hanging out with other eagles, but you are hanging out with other species, they will not understand what you are doing. They will not. And actually, they will advise you to quit. They will tell you, that's pointless. I don't see the purpose. And of course, they are not eagles. They cannot see things from above. Do you understand? That's why you have to hang out with eagles, people with vision, people that see things from above, people that are used to be by themselves, people that take care of themselves. I remember about a year and a half ago, I have a group of teenagers here in the church. And once a month, I brought them to my home, only boys. And I started to teach them certain things in my home. And we play some games, you know, we were shooting outside with some uh, toys, stuff like that, sports, we watched some TV. But then I took them to the kitchen. You need to start learning to take care of yourselves, kids. They were 13, 14 years old, something like that. You're a man and you don't cook, you're going to start to death. You're not you're going to be buying food all the time from the store. Come on, make a couple of eggs there, you know. It's good, good protein. Just to give an example. You start to teach those things to the kids. They start to see life and from a different perspective. Because you have a vision. You know what you are doing with your own children. You have a vision. You have a plan. The Lord is guiding you. Number eight. Eagles know there is more land to discover. And why do they know that? Because they fly high. They are high, high. The rest of the animals, they say, I don't see no lake. Of course you don't. I don't see no mountain. Of course you don't. Because you don't fly. You don't know. But eagles know there is more land to discover. And you should be that kind of person. You should be willing to discover what else the Lord has for you. What else, Lord? 
What else, what else is there for me? Show me, Father. Open my eyes. Take me to the high altitude, Lord, where I can see things from above, from where you are, Lord. Show me what you can see, Father, because I can't. I want to fly. I want to be with you in the clouds. I want to be with you, Father. Hang out with other eagles and, and go with my eagle friends to discover the land and have more adventure. Life is not over. There is more. There are other things to do. It's true. I'm a little bit old, but still I can do some things. Do you know that eagles don't hide in the storms? And that's something so interesting. You know, when there is a storm, all the birds, they look for a place to hide. Because they don't want to be in trouble with the storm, correct? All the birds, except the eagles. Eagles are different. You know what they do? They use the wind of the storm to go high. They use the storm in their behalf. So they can be above the storm. They don't hide like the rest of the birds. Oh, I'm protecting myself. Does that sound familiar to you? I'm protecting myself. No. Eagles, they don't hide. They will go and face the storm. You know, in these days, especially in the financial aspect of our lives, there are many creditors calling everybody. There are many companies going after everyone the collection departments are growing. They are hiring people in the collection department today. They are increasing their commissions, giving them bonus in order to collect and collect. And, and you know what is happening today in these storms? People are not answering their phones. People are not reading their mails. They don't want to have anything to do with the problem. They hide in the storms. There is an issue with health. I don't want to know. I don't want to go to see the doctor. There is an issue in the family. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. I don't want to know anything about it. They hide in the storms. Eagles don't do that. Eagles face the storm. They take the call. Hello? Is this such and such? Yes. What can I do for you? I'm calling you for this company. I want to know when can you make the next payment. Well, let me tell you something about it. <laughs> and then you start your conversation. And what you don't know is that in these days, there are opportunities to renegotiate everything. People and companies are willing to work with everybody today because everyone is hurting. The same people that are calling, collecting, they have debts. Don't you see that? Those who are calling everybody, they also have others calling them. So they understand. The owners of those companies also have debts. So they want to work with everybody because everyone wants others to work with them. Don't hide in the storm. Face it. Well, yes, I am, and I have a problem. And my income is very little, and I need to change my Payment schedule. Can you work with me? You will be surprised how many companies are working with everybody today. Oh, sure. Let me take you through. We can go through a financial review. And you can cut a better deal. Deal that you didn't imagine because you were hiding. But eagles, they don't hide. They face the storm and they use the wind to be above the storm. Same thing with your doctor situation or your problems and your, with your family. Face the problem, my friend. Eagles don't hide. 
There are eagles that can live up to 70 years. Now, do you know what happens? When they are in their 40s, they noticed that suddenly their peak is not as strong as it was. And actually flying becomes difficult to them because their feathers are old and heavy. So it's more difficult for them to fly. So you know what they do? They go to the top of the mountains and they start a process of renewing themselves. Not low, but high. Meaning, you as an eagle, you go to the high place of prayer where you are by yourself. Hey, guys, bunch of eagles, you know, we are in our 40s. Let's go and renew ourselves. And the rest of the eagles say, I already did it. What about you? Yeah. What about you? Yeah. So I'm the only one that have not renewed himself? Yeah. You want to come with me? No, buddy. We did it alone. You do it yourself. I didn't know that. Nobody told me that. You didn't get the memo? No, I didn't. <laughs> Go. Go and renew yourself. By yourself. You have to renew yourself by yourself. In the high place. In the mountain. Out there. And there is where they start the process. And there are many theories about it. I have never seen something like that. But what I have read says that some of those eagles, they, they also work with their peak, pigs and their feathers. The theories or things that they say start by indicating that they hit their pigs against the rocks to break them until the new one comes out. I, I really don't know, my friends, but I read that. And they say that the same thing happens with their feathers. Some of them, they say that they hit the rocks until the feathers come out. Others say that with their pick, they pull the feathers until they are out. But regardless, the point is they renew themselves with a new pick and new feathers. The renewal happens. So they have another 30 years of life for those who live 70. Like eagles, the Lord says. If you are tired, the Lord says, I'm going to renew you like eagles. Number 10. Number 11. Eagles are here to influence others. They are an example. Because you know that. They are flying in groups sometimes, families, and they receive the influence. They see that eagle that is renewed, looks young, strong, smart, wise, healthy. So the question will come up. What are you doing? Tell me, what's your secret? Which is one of my favorite questions to ask. Through all my years, I always liked to hang out with older people. I like hanging out with everybody, but I, but I had my preference to hang out with old, old guys and ask them questions about different things. About how do they money, they make money, about their health, about their family. But when I reached 50, Six years ago, I remember that I, that I was in Virginia, and I went to see one of my mentors, Bobby Wells. He is with the Lord now. Bobby was very successful in the great man of God, deacon in his church. And he was a great mentor to me. Always told me not to do this, not to do that, be careful with that, etc. Great, great friend, great mentor to me. Well, I've celebrated my 50 years of life. They gave me a dinner. I'm there with Bobby and his wife, Marlene. Tracy and I are sitting at the table. And I asked, 
I asked Bobby in front of the two ladies, Bobby, if you were in your 50s, he was 75, I believe. If you were in your 50s, like I am now in my 50s, what would you do different? His answer was, I'll be very careful with what I eat and take good care of my weight. That's important, very important, Gian. I'm talking about a man of God. I thought that he would give me a biblical answer or something like that, more spiritual, right? No. No. He didn't quote the Bible. He didn't say anything profound. It was a simple advice. He said, if I'm in my 50s, I will make sure that I don't gain more weight because losing weight is so difficult and hurts you, hurts your health. Eagles are here to influence others. You are here to influence others. Do it. Next Sunday, my friends, on September the 6th, the service 206, the topic will be the true virus. I'm going to open the Pandora box next Sunday. What is the true virus? We're going to talk about it. But that will be next Sunday. I want to go through a quick summary of what we discussed of these 11 attributes of eagles. Eagles are here to fly. They can see things from above. They hang out with other eagles. They learn to be alone. They take care of themselves. They procreate eagles to teach them to fly. They have a great vision. They know there is more land to discover. They don't hide in the storms. They renew themselves. They are here to influence others. That's what eagles are. That's why this prophet, Isaiah, when he says in the chapter 40, verse 31, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. He was telling us, friends, something powerful that we need to apply in our lives today. And I'm telling you this now. Don't be afraid, my friends. Don't be afraid, but be brave. Don't be afraid of anything. You just trust in the Lord. Give to the Lord all your concerns. He will take care of you. But, but what if this, Gian? What if this happens? What if this? What if that? The Lord always has a plan for us. He has a plan. You just need to trust Him. But what if this? What if that? He has a plan. Yes. But what if this other thing? He has a solution. Yes. He is God. He has been, He is, and He will be. Amen. We just need to trust Him. Right. And we do the best that we can with what we have. But the most important thing is do not be afraid. Be brave. Yes. Listen to this portion of the scripture. In the chapter 43, verse 5, section A. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Now, please close your eyes. And think that what I am about to say is the Lord God telling you this. Close your eyes. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. With you. I am with you, says the Lord. Simple as that, my friends. You just don't need to be afraid of anything. Just trust in Him. Just trust in Him. But if you have never given your life to the good Lord, maybe that will be the question. Would you like to become a child of God? My friend watching, maybe this is your opportunity to change everything and become an eagle. Become a child of God. You know what Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says? If you openly say, Jesus is my Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from death, you will be saved. That's all that is required. So I invite you today to give your life to the Lord. Because he 
has a plan for your life, my friend. Don't wait any longer. Say with me this prayer. It's on the screen. Say it with me. Dear God, I want to change. I need to change. Without you, I am nothing. Without you, I have no hope. I surrender to you. I open my heart to you, Lord. I confess my sins before you. I need you, Lord. Please forgive me. I need to change. I want to obey you and trust you and serve you forever, my Lord. Starting today, I want to see life and people exactly as you do. Please help me, Lord. Because it's on the cross, my friends. It is on the cross that we can see and experience the transformation of, of our lives. What if we all together say this? I am forgiven and saved by faith in Jesus. Therefore, I can also declare my life is going to be great and blessed this year, 2020. My friends, you are blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for coming up today to church. And I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. See you next Sunday. Anytime a heart turns from darkness to light. Anytime temptation comes and someone stands to fight. Anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served. I know, I know, I know, I know. Please remember our fundraiser, $5,000, to buy new equipment to improve our broadcast. Thank you. Thank you for watching Victory Church. Please feel free to contact us. Our email address is info at vchurch.us and our phone number is 432-614-9798.